Cryos. Planet Rock coming into range. Rock's battle moons. Your planet's first and most formidable line of defense. I understand they've stopped your armies on more than one occasion. Yes, they have. Perhaps this would be the best time for you to clear a path. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm just a miner. Only quarriers have the access codes. I was hoping your diplomacy would see us through. Diplomacy? With Lord Mantle? Impossible. Your Majesty, the moons are now active and locking in. Open a hailing frequency to the planet. You're in our sights, insect. State your mission. I am Cryos, servant of the glacier and king of planet ice. Not good enough. Prepare to be destroyed. Wait, this is Graveheart, minor granite class. I'm accompanying the king and he wishes to invoke the Treaty of Four. He has some crust evoking that ancient treaty. Be that as it may. Tell Lord Mantle I am here to see him. <sighs> In the name of Lord Mantle, the Rock of Rock, I grant you safe passage. For now. There. That wasn't so bad. Good to see you. I was hoping... Braveheart, in the name of Lord Mantle, you are under arrest. We were promised safe passage. You have diplomatic immunity, but he must answer to Lord Mantle. Take it she was a friend of yours? The best. I'd trust her with my life. Why would you value your life so cheaply? Reception on your world was cold. the Ice King and the Miner, as you commanded. Lord Mantle, I bring you- Silence! Were you not sent on a mission with my greatest warriors? Yes, my lord. That is what I must tell you. Where are they? Why aren't they here? They were slain, my lord. All of them. 
And why weren't you? I was lucky. If it wasn't for the Sonic Cannon... And now you stand with my greatest enemy. He has information that affects us all, Mantle. Enough! Leave my planet, Ice King, or I'll have you reduced to slush. Surely you would not ignore a warning from your own people. He is no longer... Go, Your Majesty. Please. You can do nothing more here. Very well. It appears I have overstayed my welcome. But you do well to heed his warning, Rock Lord. My Lord! Jade, please. This data crystal will explain everything. Save your breath. You are charged with treason, and you will answer for it. Guards! But the crystal! much to look at, but I suppose it will serve. For now. Ah, who cares how it looks? Our mission is to destroy and conquer. No, Block. They were sent here to test the strengths and weaknesses of these worlds. And destroy their defenses. And the quickest way to do that is with my drones. So stay out of my way, Lamprey. Void agrees. These drones to me! <laughs> Braveheart led me to believe there was more to you, Rock People. How sad that he was wrong. Promise me, man of stone. Complete my mission. Warn the worlds of this system. Stop the beast planet. planet, planet, planet. You believe this nonsense? I don't just believe it, Jade. I lived it. Prepare to deactivate the moons. I am in position. Stand by for my signal. Now! Let the carnage begin. Did Lord Mantle even look at the crystal? He looked. He thinks you're a madman. And what do you think? I prefer not to. Jade. Lord Mantle will listen to you. You must make him see reason. I am only a soldier. I follow orders. The threat of the beast planet is real. The cluster must work together, or we're doomed to perish separately.
<laughs> Life is good. They're here. I'm helpless. If this is your doing... Oh, come on, Jade. You know me better than that. I'm not sure I knew you at all. After you quit the army... Don't go there. Now's not the time or place. Don't move! Like I have a choice! Seal off the control core! Feldsbach, status. Unidentified invader attacking the planet, Commander. Battle control core is sealed, but we can't hold out. Ice mites? Nothing we've ever seen before. It appears to be no matter bound by a Genesis matrix. So, maybe you haven't gone mad. Situation. The control core is under assault. All access has been cut off. Without the control core, there's no way of activating the defense moons. Rock would be helpless. Not if I have something to say about it. Remember that tunnel? How could you think of that now? No, I mean the one when we were kids. The one that led directly to the Battle Moon Core. You and me against the odds. Just like old times. Don't remind me. of eyes to planet fire. It is imperative that I speak to your prince. Go away, Ice Worlder. The prince cares nothing for you or your world. What I have to say concerns us all. Planet Rock is under attack by a new enemy. I must speak to the prince. You speak as if we should care. The problem is theirs to resolve. We've gone the wrong way. No. They blocked the tunnel. So they have. Amara! Attack! Thing? Doubt it, but I'll try.
Get ready. Manual control online. Get in. Got him in my sights. taste of what's to come. You see, my lord, the beast planet overwhelms. It swarms before devouring its enemy. Rock cannot stand alone. And I cannot permit an alliance with our most hated enemies. But you've seen the beast's power. And they've seen ours. Our battle moons can handle them if need be. They simply took us by surprise this time. It won't happen again. Still, we do owe you a small debt for your help in driving off the invaders. You owe me nothing, Lord Mantle. Then swear loyalty only to Rock, and you will once again be welcome here. I... I can't. Our only hope of survival is uniting all the worlds of our sun against the beast. Then get out of my sight. Dare to return, and you will be executed. Contact Cryos. Tell him to come and pick up his new friend. I've attempted to contact Prince Pyrus of Fire. His vizier, though, is a bit... overprotective. Then we'll just have to find some way around him. Not so fast. I'm going with you. Then you do believe in the Alliance? No, but I believe in you. And somebody has to watch your back with this ice flea around. Charming. I must say, this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Ha <laughs> ha